<laughs> it was the worst cluster oh, I've ever had. Good morning guys, as you probably can notice from today's intro, the little arch, we are in St. Louis today. Unfortunately, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, which is these venues have been kind of in the middle of nowhere, which kind of sucks, because I like venturing off and doing things. But, we gotta do what we gotta do. Where is our poster? I'm trying to find our poster here. Kiefer Sutherland's coming? Oh, wait, no he's not. Yeah, he's coming. That's cool. Coley's rich. Look at this. About my money. I just bought a few tickets. <laughs> <all my money. laughs> we still got this cough, as you guys can probably hear. Oh no, we lost the quarter. There's some arcade games right now. So, as far as I'm concerned, Coley is the richest person on this you're bus. Cent. Dude, that is. You're loaded. Here's another quarter. You want to play? You want to play some, uh, <laughs> some video games? No, Burger Time's broken. It's the only one I wanted to play. It's just working. Oh, God. Yeah, it was working. Oh, there it goes. Do I want to try? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Give me back my money. Well, I'm not putting any more money in that. Arcade games are impossible. They're designed just to take your money. Jay Val's letting me borrow his scooter so I can see if I can find anything in this area. I'm pretty sure it's kind of barren. Oh, fall, gotta fall, gotta fall, gotta fall. I was told do not go that way, especially on a scooter. I feel like the venues that we've been in lately have been in that kind of situation. It was like, do not go this direction. You'll be okay if you go this direction, but do not go that direction. Oh, it's right, it's Sunday too, so everything's gonna be closed. Awesome. I got a little bit bored around the area where we were just playing, so I just hopped in an Uber to go at least see a landmark of St. Louis, which is just a giant arch. And unfortunately, it's closed right now, so I can't go inside it. Which is a bummer, because I've actually never got to go inside it, and I would very much like to one day. Next time. Well, there it is. Here's a fun fact, guys. This is the largest freestanding steel structure in the world. Or maybe just the States, I actually don't really know. It's one of those things. I read it in a sign. <laughs> I just can't remember which one it is. I think I actually want to. I actually can't remember the last time I was here. I feel like it was the end of the world tour. It was it 2012, 2011? I honestly can't remember. I think that's what it was. See, I don't know if you guys can see, it's very, very top, there's like little holes, or slits. I'm assuming that's where people can go. One day, when it's maybe not under construction, we'll be able to go. Okay, now I'm freezing. I am freezing cold right now. I wanted to kind of do something a little bit different, because yesterday, I didn't get to really do anything because we weren't in a safe area, and it was raining, and it was, freezing yesterday but today is a little nicer the only reason why i'm super cold is because we're right on the water oh look it's cinderella's carriage that's kind of cool so now that i've seen this is there really anything else to do in st louis and i mean that in the least condescending way possible even though my uber driver was like well you're gonna go see the arch and that's it made completely out of steel that's cool 
It's so crazy to me that people come and dis disrespect things like this. Like this is like a monument. And people just just imagine on the Washington Monument, somebody just like scribbled, you know, like your name Johnny loves Rachel on like a monument. I think it's so disrespectful. I feel like that should just get smacked right in the jaw. Like it's a monument, right? What are people thinking? I, I think it's just one of those things people don't think. Okay, that's closed. Can't go that way. How do I get out of this place? Track. So good late afternoon internet. I <clears throat> have completely slacked today on picking up the camera and bringing you around with me, but it's very late in the afternoon. It's actually like after five. I'm going to meet up with my mom right now and we're gonna go just have a, a little dinner together because we didn't really get to do that for my birthday yet. So I'm gonna go right now meet up with her <clears throat> and then I'm gonna come back home and really start getting things organized and kind of put in a specific position or in a specific place so that I know what to bring the day of the wedding, what not to bring, and just kind of have it all ready ahead of time. Because when Charles gets here, he's getting here the day before the wedding. Yeah. Nerves are a little high about that, but I, they'll make it. I know they will. Because he's gonna be here the day before, I wanna be able to spend a little bit of time with him and I don't want that to be something that I have to worry about. So, you know, if I can, if I can get that all done now, then it's just something I don't have to worry about. So, it's precisely what I'm gonna do. And I have to work out our uh, seating arrangement, which will be super interesting. I don't even know how the hell we're gonna do that. <sighs> Weddings. We got a new photographer, a new guy on the bus. Sorry? He's 10 years younger. <laughs> Holy crap. You're so young looking. Oh, do I look like a baby? You look like a little baby. Don't I like it. I like it. Don't look at me. I like it. No. Sorry, Cole. Cole's naked now. Look at that. Look, look at those me. legs. And if your shit is flimsy, then your ass is going to be it. And like I said before, there'll be no tears in the end. I'm rolling through your wood. Look at how you look. Let's take a trip up a pile of wood. So you can see how many niggas in my butt is that. We stand. No, I touched her head. I know, but she's <laughs> That was the best thing to start recording. <laughs> I touched I touched no, everyone. No, I touched her head. head. Alright. Touch everyone's head. Of course. Is it insulting to pat people on the head? I don't know. Only if they're little. Only if they what? Only if they're little. Hi, how are you? Ah. Uh. Can you see I'm settling in for the night? I've got my little blemish medication on right now. What I'm gonna try and do though is, I feel like I have just been MIA the whole day today, but to be completely honest, I've been so tired and I just, I felt my body kind of slowly falling and I needed to just cool down, give myself some time, and then once I was ready, I, you know, I, I wanted to get back to doing things. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. What we're doing for the tables is we're doing the table numbers on these little pieces of wood. Just trying to keep it something that we can do, something that's a little bit organic and earthy and woodsy and romantic and bohemian and la da 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 da. We don't, like I said, we don't really have an idea of what our wedding is really based around, but I'm gonna go ahead and stain these, I believe, and then paint uh, the numbers on there. So I'm gonna, hopefully this turns out very well, but I'm gonna do that and then I also have to go ahead and cut this up into three long pieces. And that's gonna take a long time. So I may start doing that now, but I'm not really sure. So we're gonna have a Polaroid guest book because we thought it would be really cool if people took like a funky photo and then stuck it into a book and signed something fun, unique, whatever they want underneath it. So what I'm gonna try and do right now is just basically recreate that sign and just paint this. I think I'm gonna either paint it all black or stain it and then do exactly that so that we can set it up with the photo booth. Got 
All right, so today was so slippery on the stage. Unbelievably slippery because so many people were so hot. I jumped over here, I'm just gonna recreate what happened. Basically, I fell on my ass. So it was over here. It's over here. Then I decided to go back on the stage. It was so slippery right here. I just kind of ended up down here somehow. <laughs> and I just fell on my ass. And then Casey, Casey, recreate what you did. Recreate, bring him out of the bed. Casey ran over here, tried to grab me, and when I tried to stand up, I put my foot right here and fell back down. <laughs> it was the worst cluster oh, I've ever had. But it was just so slippery. <laughs> and it hurt. My shin is all gashed up. The so I fell on stage. No, the base is fine. Uh, but yeah, it fell right on my ass. Did you get to see it? I did I not. I've an apple before too. It sucks. Yeah. Oh, you're a bass player too? Yeah. We suck. But it's just, the stage is so slippery. It was just kind of like a... So slippery. Oh. It's one of those. And that's all you can do is you sit there. All I was working on was like trying to get the volume knob. <laughs> all I could do was laugh. See, I can't even get out of it now. My shit hurts so bad. It's so gassed up. Here's the thing. I don't know if anyone recorded it because I know I looked at Frankie immediately. I was like, please God, hopefully you filmed it. Frankie didn't get it, so I'm, I'm asking all of you guys that came to St. Louis, for the love of God, please say one of you guys actually recorded it. And please send it to me, because I want to see me fall on my face. Recreating is one thing, but to actually, for me, be able to cut one day to... I can't even show you. Ricky, feel right here. Oh, shit. Feel that? Oh, my God. It's, it's done. Yo, you have a rock under there. <laughs> no, the rocks are up here. Oh! Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Charles and I started a ninja crew. Are you ready? <laughs> Where were you, dude? <laughs> you can't go three. One, two, three. Kia! <laughs> Oh, good night. That's right, good night. Is this cool, guys? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs>